Welcome to Mason and Associates. I'm John Mason, president and financial planner at Mason and Associates. I'm a certified financial planner, and the advisors at Mason and Associates were financial planners first, and we do this second. So thank you for being a part of our channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. We will do our best to respond to every question or comment, as well as maybe shoot a future episode if there are good questions below. So thanks again for being with us today. This episode, Federal Employees Group Life Basic in Retirement, F-E-G-L-I, Basic in Retirement. My colleague, Tommy Blackburn, on the previous video, indicated how Fegley works while you're working. So if you're mid-career, early career, and you talked about the, the cost per thousand, the doubling when you're younger, and how it really isn't that great a deal mid-career, well, we want to make sure you know that as you get older, Federal Employees Group Life Basic gets to be a better and better deal every year. The reason? You're paying the same cost per thousand every single year as somebody that maybe is 20 or 30 years younger than you. So Federal Employee Group Life Basic is a great deal. To be able to bring this into retirement, you must have coverage for five years and you must retire with it. We've encountered federal employees over the years who did not enroll in Fegley Basic immediately at the beginning of their career. We've met with um, federal employees who have dropped Fegley Basic mid-career. It's important to note that if you're watching this video and you do not have Fegley Basic today, you can go in and get Fegley Basic at any time. It's an application process. You do have to go through medical underwriting, but if you're interested in carrying this coverage into retirement, remember, you have a five-year rule. How does it work? Let's pretend as a federal employee, remember in Tommy's example in the previous video, we had right at $100,000 of federal employees group life basic coverage. Many of our clients try to retire as close to MRA as possible. That's your minimum retirement age. So let's assume you retire at 57 under FERS with your federal employees group life basic. You have a few options when you retire. Option one is you can just drop it. Well, if you've spent 30 or 40 years paying for this, just dropping it and seeing that benefit go to zero is not typically something that we're going to recommend. So then you have three other options. The first and overwhelmingly most popular is something called the 75% reduction. You will make this election when you submit your first retirement application, it's a standard form, continuation of life insurance and retirement. 75% reduction is by far the most popular, and this is how it works. So remember in Tommy's example, $16 a pay period, um, about $32 to $34 a month in total cost for Federal Employees Group Life Basic. When you retire, you keep paying the exact same number. The only difference between working and retired for Federal Employees Group Life Basic is that it converts from a bi-weekly premium to a monthly premium. And that's because your first pension, that check's gonna come in monthly rather than every two weeks. So it's the identical cost. At age 65, the cost goes from about $30 a month down to zero. So because you elected the 75% reduction, you do pay for it from 57 to 65. At 65, it becomes free and your benefit's going to start reducing by 2% a month down to 25% of the original value. In numbers, your $100,000 of Fegley Basic will drop to 25,000 and it will remain constant for the rest of time. So it effectively goes from being a group term life insurance to kind of like a whole life or a permanent insurance as you get closer to retirement. So the 75% reduction, overwhelmingly the most popular, Typically, our clients are electing full survivor benefits when they retire from the federal government, which means we really don't need nine times out of 10 that entire 100,000. So overwhelmingly, 75% seems to be the best option for most folks that we come across. The other two options that you have under Federal Employees Group Life Basic is a 50% reduction and a no reduction. And in the interest of time, I'm gonna give you the biggest numbers, which is on the no reduction. So remember, you're retired, you're 57. Then standard cost for federal employees group life basic is like $34 a month at age 57. But instead of electing the 75% reduction, you elected the no reduction, meaning I would like to keep 100,000 of insurance forever. Well, in order to do that, 
there's a, there's a penalty and you have to pay an additional $225 per month in addition to the base premium of 34 to keep that coverage around. So 34 plus 225 brings your total premium for federal employees group life basic to almost $260 per month. And folks, those premiums continue past age 65 as well. So you can see that it is drastically more expensive if you elect to go the 100% reduction, or I'm sorry, the no reduction or the 50% reduction, those are gonna be drastically more expensive than if you were to elect the 75% reduction at retirement. Thanks for being with us on this episode. Mason & Associates, masonllc.net.